So here we have a place value chart and we count place values from the decimal point. So our whole number place values are our ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands and hundred thousands and our decimal place values are our tenths, hundredths and thousandths. So if we just have three ones, normally what we just write as the number three, really we have invisible zeros in all of our other place value columns and an invisible decimal point on the end of every whole number. But we don't need zeros at the start of a whole number and we don't need zeros in our decimal place values if we only have three ones. And though there's really an invisible decimal point on the end of every whole number, we don't write the decimal point when we're writing whole numbers. Now, what if we just have three tenths? All of our other place value columns are really zeros, but we don't need zeros in our whole number place values if we only have three tenths. The exception is our ones column we always need to write a digit in the ones place value, so here we do need to write the zero. But we don't need zeros on the end of decimals. All this zero here tells us is that we don't have any thousandths, and this zero just tells us that we don't have any hundredths. But just writing 0 0.3 tells us this as well, because in 0 0.3 that tells us that we only have three tenths. What if we have three hundredths? All of our other place values are really zeros, but we don't need zeros in our whole number place value columns except for our ones column, and we don't need zeros on the end of decimals because all this zero here tells us is that we don't have any extra thousandths. But we do need this zero in our tenths. That's because we need to show three hundredths, and our hundredths place value column is always the second place value column after the decimal point. So if we didn't have zero in our tenths, the three would be in our tenths, but we need to show three hundredths, so that has to be the second digit after the decimal point. Now, what if we have three tens and three hundredths? All of our other place values are really zeros, but we don't need zeros on the start of a whole number and we don't need zeros on the end of decimals. But we do need this zero here because we need to show that this three stands for three tens. So we need a zero in our ones because we count whole number place values from the decimal point and the tens place value is always the second digit before the decimal point. We also need this zero in our tenths just as we did here so that the three is in our hundredths column, so it's the second digit after the decimal point. Now, what if we have three thousandths, three tenths, three tenths, and three thousandths? We really have zero in all of our other place values, but this time the only zeros that we don't need are these zeros at the start of our number. We need this zero here because without it, the three would be in our hundredths column, and we need to show three thousandths. We also need all of our other zeros, so if we didn't have this zero, then the three that's in our thousandths would be in our hundredths, but the thousandths digit is always the third digit after the decimal point, so we need zero in our hundredths. So this zero and these other zeros that we have are called placeholders. They don't have any value in themselves, but they give the other digits value. They make sure that the other digits are in the right place value columns, so that's why they're called placeholders. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that was helpful. If you're a teacher or a parent, then please subscribe or go to keystage2maths.com to download resources for this lesson and many more. That's all for now, I'll see you in the next video.